Welcome everybody. I'm Gwendolyn Stirk from Stirk Family Law and I have the honor and privilege to be here today with Deanna Turpak, who is the executive director and one of the founders of the Soaring Eagle Academy in Lombard, Illinois. Welcome today. Thank you for joining us. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Thank Very you. Very good. So tell us a little bit about Soaring Eagle Academy and what its mission is. Well, our mission is to provide a social and academic learning environment for um, children ages 3 through 21 um, with autism or related disorders um, of relating, interacting, and communicating. Very good. You know, we get a lot of clientele who are just experiencing the diagnosis or maybe they're not even to that phase. Can you give advice to somebody, a parent that's out there that might be struggling to obtain the options? Oh my. Um, autism is a complex disorder. Um, and I can speak about it professionally, but I'm also a parent. Um, so while I'm a speech pathologist, I'm also a parent of a 27-year-old with autism. So I, I understand both sides. And because of the complexity, it's different for every child and it's different for every family. Um, I think it's about never forgetting that you are the expert at your child. It's very good advice. And you know, there's often this level of difficulty though that parents mm -hmm. experience and they have that trouble accepting the diagnosis. What would you say to that parent? Oh, that is hard. Everyone's on their own personal journey with okay. the diagnosis. And I think it's up to all of us that support them to honor them where they're at in their journey. Um, and acceptance is going to come as they start to have beautiful engagement and interaction with their child. Very good. And find ways to reach them. So can you give some tips to parents that are out there? Maybe they are at the point they know what's happening. They just need to know how to get moving with the situation. I think first is to, to think about that there is hope. No matter Very good. what, there's always hope. There is always hope, and um, the child who has the most complexities can still make progress. And focusing on what's important for you and your family, and not always is it academics. It may be um, supporting them to be calm and regulated in their home, sure. sitting at dinner with family. I think we have to honor what's ap appropriate and what is the goal for every family, and supporting um, the focus on that, even. Um, finding ways to connect with your child. Sure. Join them in their play. Reach them where they're at. Right. Um, let go of all the things we know need to be happening in development, like talking and moving and walking and ABCs and numbers. Right. But find a way to get in and woo your child because that's the most important piece for your child in development. And it's interesting because I think that parents in this situation have a unique task and that is to live in the day, live in the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, we all need to do that, but a lot of us err on the side of looking five years down the mm -hmm. road and we put that focus especially with this situation. Mm -hmm. And in this particular situation, perhaps that day-to-day -day mm -hmm. support is what's more necessary. Yeah, we need to live in the moment. We li need to live in the here and now. Even within our school, we talk about supporting students in the here and now because they're thinking about things that happened before and they're thinking, worrying about the future. And as parents, we do the same. How do we stay in the joy of the here and now? You know, it's true in our business and doing family law that we see that these conflicts that parents have with children with special needs, they really suffer and they have mm -hmm. conflict that arise. Oftentimes we see these particular families suffering a divorce situation because mm -hmm. one parent may not be on the same page with the other. If that's the case, what would be the call that you would give to those parents? Mm -hmm. Oh my. <laughs> it, different in every family and every family has different coping strategies. Mm -hmm. Autism along with other disabilities are so impactful to a family unit and we focus on the one individual that needs the most attention and that's often the child with autism and the rest of the relationships um, get less attention. Sure. It's about figuring out what's right for you and your family and seeking support, potentially seeking counseling and reaching out to your school. Sure. Because you need a village to support not only your child and development, but your family that is moving through this journey. Right. It can be the school. It can be that social worker. Yes. It can be the counselor. There's a whole variety of support. Right. Community services. Right. Absolutely. That can be put together for you. And being and open to say, we need some help. Right. We need some help. And we also need maybe as a couple some us mm -hmm, time too mm -hmm. because if you're going through that you can't ignore that relationship because it is a drain it is a difficult mm -hmm. situation as well the child in their development so there's hope that's your word of encouragement yeah. for everybody tell us you work in the transition program and how do parents then deal with that transition to life mm. you know they're going to go through the school mm -hmm. they got the child in the school we get 
that need met mm -hmm. until 21, then we face that next stage. For the parent who's out there that has an older child mm -hmm. with a special needs, what do you say to that family? Right, it's scary, it is. I'd say the children and families that come to us when they're four years old, families are already thinking about what's going to happen when they're adults. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the first worry. Right. Um, and so for our older kids, I think hopefully in our school, it's about building the foundation for those students so that we're thinking about independence and the future when they are four. Right. And we're not thinking about training skills for the future. We're, we're building in them the ability to be in their family, to be calm and regulated, right. have relationships, be problem solvers. That is what's critical for any type of independence and success. Sure. Whether it's, if it is a vocation, if it's volunteering, it's going to be different for every child. And I think reminding families that we can think outside of the box and think about their child and what does their child love? What's going to give them meaning and purpose in their life? And it's right. going to look different for every child. And I think that's what's critical is that we don't have to place this situation in a box. Correct. Our society, though, does put this mm -hmm. structure out there. And if we're not in the four walls of that structure, mm -hmm. we have trouble accepting it. And I think that mm -hmm. that's the hope that also is available. Absolutely. Especially with the diagnosis of autism, it looks very different. And so when students who, when individuals are 22 and older and they're now going to fit into day programs or vocational experiences, sure. this is a different um, disability. And not everyone and not every agency is prepared for what autism is. Right. And so families do have to become advocates just right. as they did all along the way. Right. And, and honor their gut instincts of what's gonna be right for my child, what's gonna give them meaning sure. and give them joy. And as you said, let go of what everyone else thinks should be happening for exactly. your child. Exactly. I think that that's a problem that we mm -hmm. have. We have these expectations that are out there. Mm -hmm. So that's the transition. Does your program at Soaring Eagle Academy provide for resources, not just within that structure of where mm -hmm. you fit within that educational, mm -hmm. but it's my understanding that you can help people get to the different ideas and help them move forward with that hope. Is oh, that correct? Absolutely. So our mental health team works with the families to think about the future. So whether it be um, all the, the services that are provided through the state of Illinois to ensure that they have everything, that they've gone through um, SSI and guardianship and all of those pieces in their estate. So that I think then families feel safer, grounded, empowered, right, and are ready now for the future. As well as thinking about what vocational opportunities have the, has the student been involved in and what could that look like as they transition then out of our program and into their community and what right. can they bring as far as skills to go back. So I think the message today from our entire program here with Soaring Eagle Academy, think about that eagle, that eagle is flying, the eagle is about a sense of freedom and the eagle gives an opportunity for parents and families to learn a structure and to learn about alternatives but to find out what works best for them and I mm -hmm. think that's what's unique. We've been so excited to have you here today and so excited to learn about what Soaring Eagle Academy does. You know if you're out there and you're listening and you need those resources and those contacts, please get a hold of Deanna or one of the team members there at Soaring Eagle Academy and tell us how we can get a hold of you. Sure, you can reach out on our website, soaringeagleacademy.org or our number 630-323-2900. Happy to always be a resource. If our school is, is not something that um, you're ready to add to your journey, we are, we are here as a resource as well. It's fantastic and we're so privileged to have you here today. And if you have a family law matter that you think might be relevant, whether or not you're going through that divorce situation, if you need estate planning to get that supplemental needs trust or look at that guardianship, our firm can answer those questions and provide direction as well. So if you have any questions about what we provide, and we can also give you additional contact information for Soaring Eagle Academy as well. What a privilege to get to know resources because that's what it's all about, isn't it? Getting that community mm -hmm. developed to understand what is available. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for coming Absolutely. out. Absolutely, thank we you, appreciate my pleasure. It. Take care.